Hi, Farmer Kerry. What are you planting in this bed? Oh, Mr. Lavasser, we are planting potatoes in this bed. And I am super excited about this because we have wonderful potatoes. Right here, these potatoes are called macaw ozets. That's M-A-K-A-H-O-Z-E-T-T. -T. Macaw ozet potatoes. And these potatoes have a fascinating history. They were actually brought by Spanish explorers back in the 1700s up to Nia Bay, where they had a fort on the Macaw tribal lands. And the Spanish tried to live in those strenuous conditions. They brought potatoes with them from South America. They planted them. And then after a few years, they said, oh, this is a terrible place to live. We're going to move on to where it's better. And they abandoned their potatoes at their fort. And the Macaw tribe discovered them, and they cultivated them for hundreds of years, and then shared them with the rest of us. And they're really fantastic potatoes. And they're part of Washington history. So we're going to plant these. We have these for our harvest feast mashed potatoes every year. Remember how delicious those mashed potatoes are in the fall? Well, it's because of these potatoes. So today, we're going to plant macaw ozette potatoes in our potato row right here. Now, first of all, how do potatoes grow? You guys know this. They have little eyes, right? Potatoes have eyes where the little sprout comes up. They're not like seeds. Seeds are different. These are called tubers. So in the potato, these little sprouts come up and we're gonna watch these grow because we're gonna plant them in the ground and then we're gonna see when the first green leaves appear from these long shoots. Let me show you another potato and how it's growing. These we left inside by accident and they grew up, look at that long stalk, looking for the sun. And you see how, I don't know, let me put this down right here. Do you see how the roots then grow out of this growing shoot? So they have the growing shoot and they have roots. There's another really good one here. There you can see the roots just beginning from the eye. So first the little sprout starts and then it grows roots and then the potato establishes itself and the potatoes grow off of this, okay? And we'll follow that. So potatoes are a very unusual kind of plant and how they grow. So what we do is we take our little potatoes and um, we plant them in the ground. Now, let's look and see how do you plant a potato. There's a couple different ways. This is the trench method. And the reason why we're doing this is so that as the potato grows, we can keep piling more and more soil off the growing tip, and then the potato is producing little baby potatoes underneath all that. So you can get it deep and then cover it up as it grows. So we dug this trench, and now, I'm gonna add some compost, but before I do that, I put something right here to show you. These are the evil wireworms. We found them in this bed. Remember, the wireworms are the larva of the click beetle, right? So the click beetle lays an egg, it becomes the wireworm, which is called wireworm because remember, it's hard to squish. And it's that dark brown, it's about half an inch long, but sometimes you find babies that are shorter. And if then it goes into the pupa stage later in the summer and then into the click beetle. But in this stage, it likes to burrow little holes. Remember, we've seen holes in our carrots and our potatoes, and sometimes it can burrow up into a lettuce and kill it. So we don't like wireworms. We take them out. If you have chickens, they love them. But just kind of quietly disappear your wireworms in whatever way you feel is appropriate, okay? But we wanna find all the wireworms in our soil because we do not want them eating our potatoes. Now, 
carefully digging, watching for wire worms. Then we have our trench right here. Oh, that's a really good one. See that one? These are actually, these should have been planted a little while ago because they're sprouting. So I'm going to get a little compost and put it in my trench. All right, I put a little bit of fertilizer in my trench also before we did this. So I'm gonna work a little compost into the bed. And remember what we said before in our other planting video is when you add compost, you like to work it in, okay, so that you can't see it anymore. Okay, so I'm making a nice, nice little bed for them to be, for our little potatoes to go in. Okay, I won't do the whole thing, but uh, I've added that nice compost in there. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, now let me just get a little bit more so you can see the, the distance, okay? Okay, so now here is our planting bed. Let me get a couple potatoes. Let's see here. That's a good one. These are good ones. Okay, so when you plant your potato, you wanna make sure that these, if you have them, okay, they're facing up. Now, a lot of the potatoes you will plant have eyes in them, and then it doesn't matter because nothing's growing. But this is not a root. You do not want to plant this as if it were a root. If you have sprouting potatoes, this is a sprout. There's a tiny little leaf trying to form up here. Don't plant these this way. You got that, Mr. Levasseur? I see. I would have thought to flip it the other way. No, these are not roots. These are shoots. Okay, your shoots go up and there's a tiny little leaf starting there. So we're gonna put our little potato here in the ground. Now, how far apart do you put your potato? That's important. You don't wanna have them too crowded, but you don't wanna have them too far apart. So you put them about a foot to 15 inches apart, okay? Now, what's good is I happen to know what a foot is in about 15 inches. So that right there is about 15 inches, okay? What's, oh, here we go. Potatoes, this is our potato sign. We can measure using our potato sign. So it goes from about the end of this to the O, okay? So now I know that's how far apart I plant it. And then I put it right here, right? There's another one. So you can find all sorts of things in your garden to measure with. Some people, well, this is, let's see. Okay, that could be used as a tool to measure, see? So it's always good to find your own homemade measuring sticks so that you have consistency. Okay, let me put one more potato in. All right, now the way we're gonna plant these is to take some of the soil that we've dug up, see this? And we're gonna cover it up, so simple. See how simple that is? Now, you can see that we haven't completely filled in our trench. We've only partially filled it in. We still have soil on the, on the edges. We are going to watch these potatoes and as soon as they show little leaves popping up, we can add more soil. And we'll add more soil up a little higher and then after that, then we can add some hay mulch. So we're gonna always have our, our potatoes either covering up with soil or covering up with hay mulch. That will help us get really nice potatoes. So see, now we have four potatoes in the ground right here, and we've covered them up. We're going to watch them. We have a little worm too. There we go, let me cover you up too. So we're gonna watch and see when do our first shoots, our first leaves, potato leaves come out of the ground. So we'll get back to you when that happens. Now, one last thing. You'll notice we have two trenches, yeah? So you can put two rows of potatoes in your bed. 
some here and some there, and then their potatoes will grow up. You'll have two rows of potatoes. So uh, we'll finish this bed off for you, and, uh, and then together we'll see when they all start to grow. Is there any other way to plant a potato? Mr. Lavasser, there is a super simple way to plant a potato. You, you don't have to do the trench. The trench is great, but it's not necessary. You can just put your potato in the ground. In fact, that's what we used to do for years until Farmer Kiley introduced the trenching method to us, and we're going to try that this year. But we can just dig a potato. So let me get this soil ready. Ah! Oh, my goodness! Uh-oh! Look what I found! What'd you um, find, Farmer Carey? A wire worm. Oh, and you know what I can see on it? It has a little black head. And you know how you can tell it's a wire worm? It's got six legs, because it's an insect. It's got six legs on the front, right there, and then its body, okay? Now, sometimes you'll find things, and they have lots of legs. Is that a wire worm? No. Wireworms are insects, they have six legs. So you know you have a wireworm if you have this six-legged um, larva. Now, let me put that wireworm on a safe place where it won't go away, because I don't want to lose it, but I want to plant the potato. Now, I have a little compost here. I'm going to dig a hole. And you want to dig it about three inches deep, OK? Potatoes like to be about three inches deep. And then I'm going to put my compost in. You could add a little bit of organic fertilizer if you wanted. But I know these beds are fine. So I'm going to mix that compost in so I can't see it anymore. And then, remember how we do this? Which side is up? This one or this one? Remember, this is a shoot. It goes up. This is not a root. This is a shoot. If your potato is sprouting, put this up, OK? Now, let's put the potato in the ground. So simple. There's our little potato. Now, lucky me. I just happen to have a stake right here. It's really fun to kind of stake your potatoes just to see where they are. Okay, let's put the little stake right there, or you can put a stick, or you don't have to do it at all. You can just wait to see it pop up. Now, there's a potato. Okay, little potato, grow. Thank you so much for feeding us in the fall. Now, there we go, so simple. Farmer Carey, if we wanted to know three inches, could we just maybe bring a ruler out? Absolutely. And you can also measure it on your hand. You can get to know, you'll be growing though, so then it'll change. But you can get to know inches on, your, on parts of your body, or you can bring out a ruler, or you can make a little stick with lines on it, all sorts of things. So now, the one thing I want to ask you to do, not to do, is don't go bam, bam, bam and pat your potato in. We want the soil nice and fluffy, because when it's nice and fluffy, there's a lot of air pockets in the soil that allow the air to go through and also water to go through. And when people pound the soil, they kind of smash that all together, and it's harder for the water and the air to get in. The rain will naturally let it settle. So here we have our little potato, ready to sprout. That seems like a really easy method. It's super simple. So if you don't want to go to all the trouble of the trench, then you can just plant your potato in a hole. And remember, do you remember how far apart I said to plant them? 12 to 15 inches apart. OK, that's about this far apart right here. And remember, you can put one here. We'll pretend that's a potato. And then. Oh, let's wig. Uh oh, my wire worm wiggled away. Ah! Oh, shoot. That's what they do. They, they know they're in trouble. Uh oh. Okay, we just lost that wire worm. Here's the other one. See right there? So there is. Oh, rat. Oh, I found it. Okay, so here we have a potato. Here's a potato. There's a potato. OK, so we can make a little grid shape like that. So we have nice spacing between our potatoes. And you can do that down your row.
Thank you very much, Farmer Kerry. You're very welcome. I look forward to eating our delicious macaw ozette potatoes. And I just want to do a shout out to Slow Foods. They're an organization that's all about um, heritage vegetables and um, foods that are really good for you. And they helped us get these macaw ozette potatoes. They're, a, they're an heirloom, heirloom potato. So thank you, Slow Foods. Thank you, Farmer Carrie. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you. Enjoy growing your potatoes. <laughs>